Hey everyone, this is Ikla and today we are going to talk about top 5 VS Code extensions that are going to help us in increasing our productivity while working or while coding. So if you have not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to like this video. So let's get started. Material theme is one of the most popular and favorite among the VS Code community. This theme also has, you know, 1.5 million downloads on the VS Code. And now I think download and the rating speaks for its popularity. Plus material theme is not just limited to VS Code. You can install it into your favorite IDs like Atom, Sublime. It just got a huge community update. As you can see, it has got over nine different options to choose from. Personally, my favorite one is Material Theme Oceanic High Contrast. It gives balancing contrast to your eyes and you can see like in code, uh, we have really distinguishing colors. For example here, the params have different colors and it's, it's, it's actually uh, very easy to our eyes. I guarantee you that you, get, you could work whole day and you won't get any strain in your eyes. So now on number four, we have bracket pair colorizer. This is also a popular theme. And best thing about this is you will be really, really quick while debugging your programs. Let me show you how. You have a file with thousands line of code. Now you're just wondering where the bracket is opening and where the bracket is closing. This extension helps you in that. For example, the function starts from here. You could just click inside the bracket. Let it be opening parenthesis or closing. You have to click on inner side of it. I'll click it on here and see we got a really, really great line and it navigates to the end of the packet. So that's just amazing. I just recommend you to try this on your own and see would it really help. And if it does, please tell me. If it not, also tell me because then in future videos, I'll not mention these type of extensions. At number three, we have Polar Code. Polar code helps uh, developers to create fancy screenshots. Let me show you how to do that. Once you get into the file, if you are on Mac, press Command, Shift and P and type in Polar code. Now you just need to select the code snippet that you want to share with your developer like this. And now you can see Polar code has created a fancy screenshot here. And when you finalize the code snippet, just hit the camera icon here and save it in your location. At number two, we are going to discuss extension called GitLens. This extension is personally my favorite extension. I use it regularly. You can say I use it hourly. I use it every time when I code. So we as a developers work in a team. So it's important for us to know which developer has written what part of code. So this extension helps us in that. I'll show you what are the features of this extension. So right now I'm in cardcontroller.js, it's a JavaScript file and at top you can see it has just one author and that's me but uh, when we have a multiple author it will show you know, names of few and then plus 10 and that's how it works. So best part about this is that suppose I want to uh, know who has written the line number 11 here, the name and what time it's two months ago and here is the commit message that's all already there so if you hover on this line notice how i get some really valuable insights just by using this extension i hope with your creativity you can do more with this extension because there is a lot about this extension that we are not discussing here at number one we have turbo console log this extension is not really used as we use other extension but i guarantee you this extension is really the one you need to install you you're gonna love this extension first of all while coding we do pretty much lots of console logs so we could see the value of the variables and we end up having so much console logs and it just became a mess you know in five or six console logs so this extension really helps in keeping that mess clean. For example, you here want to know the value of this particular variable. So all you have to do is just select the variable and press Control, Option and L. 
and you can see it automatically it generates a console log for you with the name of the function and the name of the variable and value of the variable so guys that's it for today if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you will get notified next time i upload my video in this channel that's it for today goodbye have a nice day